The cycle interlock page allows the user to set start conditions for the automatic cycle. Let's take a closer look at the page, and on a few examples explain how it works. On the left, we have the list of possible axes we can set up. These are clamp, injection, carriage, ejector, and 10 core axes. In the middle we have a set of drop-downs for each axis, where we can select if we want to ignore the axis, only allow the automatic movement when the axis is in positive end position, or only when it's in negative end position. All the way to the right, we can see what is the current axis status. Now that we know what everything on the page is, let's see how it works on a few examples. Interlock conditions are set to prevent possible damage to the machine or mold, by not allowing the start of the automatic movement, until the axis is in the correct position. For example, most of the time we want to start the cycle when the clamp is in the open position, which means positive end position of the axis. If the clamp is however not in open position, and we try to start the automatic cycle, we will get an alarm telling us it's not possible to start automatic cycle, because of the clamp position. For the purpose of this example, let's change the condition to ignore the axis, and try to start the automatic cycle again. This time, the automatic cycle starts, without any alarm warning. The same can be applied to other axes. For example, most of the time, we want the ejector to be retracted, and the cores to be in the correct starting positions. From the axis status, as well from the status bar we can see that the ejector is in the desired position, but the first core is in the wrong position. If we try to start automatic cycle, we will again be warned by an alarm, that our interlock conditions are not fulfilled. If we manually move the core to the correct position, we can start the automatic cycle, this time again without any warnings. We hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions regarding cycle interlocks, please leave a comment below, or contact us directly through our customer service channels. Thank you, and have a nice day.